station and family or assisted use toilet and bathing rooms for new construction of certain assembly and commercial buildings. Neighbor, the committee recommends you pass. Councilman Barnes. Yes, we've been asked to amend the Kansas City Building and Rehabilitation Code in order that um, we require a universal changing table, a universal changing table to be required when a family or assisted use toilet or bath, a bathing room is constructed. The universal changing table would provide an adjustable height platform for an adult or child receiving assistance. An assisted use toilet room is required in assembly of or a mercantile space where an aggregate of six or more male or, and female water closets is required. And um, I'll just say that uh, we had a, uh, we heard a good, some good testimony coming from uh, the young people and the family members of the uh, Variety Club KC members and uh, my colleague, Councilwoman Hall, may want to expound upon uh, this ordinance and Neighborhood Planning Development recommend, did recommend do pass. Councilwoman Hall. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Councilman Barnes. Thank you for letting us uh, come and speak yesterday. This is really an important step in inclusion in Kansas City, allowing people um, of all abilities to be able to have just the basic dignity, cleanliness, and safety when they go to a, a public restroom in Kansas City like everybody else. And so this is something that we've already started doing at places like the Kansas City Zoo and the Kauffman Center for Performing Arts. They've already all instituted uh, universal changing stations so that anybody um, can, can use a restroom with dignity in Kansas City. And so what I'm just saying with this is, uh, when someone pulls a permit to build a new building and it requires a family restroom, that this is what they need to put in it instead of a flimsy plastic, um, um, not very safe, of course, um, um, changing table. So the hope is that this brings some awareness and some um, says sh shed some light to the fact that youth with disabilities grow up to be adults. Um, you know, we, we get bigger. And so when this happens, we're forgetting, I think, um, for those of us who are ignorant and don't maybe live with that kind of life we don't notice what we what we need to be doing and what we need to be helping the people in kansas city have so they can experience kansas city the way the rest of us do so i really appreciate the committee um advancing this and um being so supportive yesterday and i hope all of our colleagues will today so thank you thank you councilman hall is there um any further discussion? oh third district <laughs> no uh, council we'll go to councilman robinson okay. Um, I just wanted to thank my colleagues so much on behalf of my family for doing this. I have a nephew who um, is in definite need of this. He is an adult, and um, I'm just so grateful on behalf of my sister and my entire family that this is happening. Things that we take for granted, like road trips, for example, that they're not able to do because of this very issue. And so I fully support this, and I'm so glad that this is brought up to the council and we're allowing for um, more spaces to be uh, inclusive. Thank you, Councilman Robinson. Councilman Ellington. No, I actually agree wholeheartedly. Uh, and I just was speaking to slow it down a little bit because I don't think people understand how significant this is because the ADA compliance law doesn't have it. The uh, state cannot compel it because all zoning laws is local. And I think expanding our, our protections for ADA is it's huge, so I think it's a very valuable piece of uh, legislation because nobody else could do it. Thank you, Councilman Allen. To the Councilman O'Neill. I just want to thank Councilwoman Hall because I do think this is an issue she's brought to the table several times and bringing a variety up here to meet with us several times. So thank you for because this is a great uh, addition to the city. Thank you, Councilman O'Neill. Councilman Park Shaw. Uh, and I would just reiterate that as well. Um, you know, being fortunate enough, um, I think many people do not realize the challenges and the struggles that uh, some families and some individuals are having to deal with. And I, I just want to also thank you for uh, bringing this to our attention and for continuing to be a voice for those individuals and those families who don't have that. Uh, this is will definitely make our city more inclusive. And I just want to take that time to just thank you for your leadership on this. Thank you. And thank you, Councilwoman Hall. I join my colleagues and I. Is there any further discussion on the ordinance? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Ellington? Aye. Robinson? Aye. Shields? Aye. Bunch? Aye. Barnes? Aye. Parkshaw? Aye. Booth? Aye. McManus? Aye. O'Neill? Aye. Hall? 
Aye. Laura? Aye. Fowler? Aye. Lucas? Aye. 13 ayes. 21-0183. Approving a council approved signage plan.